Elon and NASA spacesuit. The SpaceX spacesuits worn by astronauts for the Crew Dragon mission have been getting a lot of attention. But have you wondered how they differ from other astronaut attires down the years and how NASA feels about them? Keep watching to find out. Straight to the future. The futuristic flight suits worn by Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin during that Saturday's successful launch look a world away from the bulky orange shuttle flight suits worn when astronauts last launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. The helmets are 3D printed and the gloves are touchscreen sensitive, but their primary purpose remains the same – to protect crew members from depressurization where air is lost from the capsule. The suits also ensure astronauts have sufficient oxygen and regulate their temperature. A communications link and breathable air are provided via a single umbilical cable in the seat that plugs into the suit. Super cool and savvy. The SpaceX spacesuits are a cool one-piece white design and much sleeker than the bulky space shuttle launch suits, which were also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Unit or ACES. So slim are the new SpaceX spacesuit designs that in 2018, the company's founder Elon Musk had to reassure concerned Instagram followers after the reveal. It definitely works. You can just jump in a vacuum chamber with it and it's fine. The astronauts flying on the first crewed test flight of SpaceX's Crew Dragon have also commented on differences with the SpaceX suit, compared to other spacesuits astronauts have used in different years. This SpaceX suit is significantly different than the suit we wore on the shuttle. Hurley, a veteran of space shuttle flights STS-129 and STS-135, said during a pre-flight press conference May 1, without going into much detail. He alluded to some differences to the so-called suit the Russians use for spaceflight, but added he never actually went through the entire suit of process, since the so-called was used as a backup if something went wrong during his brief mission to the International Space Station, or ISS. Checking the same prerequisites. Even though the SpaceX suit is newer, it will go through the same pre-flight checks as the pumpkin suit and the so-called suit. It's similar in that they check the suits for leaks, they check the comm system, and they just want to make sure everything is good to go before you head out to the pad," Hurley said. Subsequently, two of these SpaceX spacesuits proved their worth in space before being used by humans. One flew with the Tesla driving dummy that launched on a Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018, and another was used on the dummy Ripley that flew aboard the uncrewed SpaceX Crew Dragon Demo-1 test flight to the ISS in 2019. What we're doing on the SpaceX side is to kind of reach back and kind of pull forward. Maybe a retro styling or a different way of creating their own unique kind of mission symbol or symbology, rather than trying to copy what was done on the space shuttle side," said Benkin, a veteran of space shuttle flights STS-123 and STS-130, in a pre-flight video interview May 4 on NASA's YouTube channel. Benkin added that the pumpkin suit was an iconic part of space shuttle launches and he expects the same will happen soon for the SpaceX spacesuit. Both of the suits have succeeded, I think, in terms of becoming iconic in terms of symbolizing the mission in front of us and the excitement associated with what we're going to accomplish. Cutting edge but not suitable? On the training side, Benkin said in a separate pre-flight video interview May 2, the SpaceX spacesuit has at least one big advantage a high enough fidelity from a training perspective that we can, both Doug and I, can sit in a capsule, we can put on suits and we can go through a situation or a scenario where the suits are going to inflate. The Starman suits, as they've been called, are all in one piece and customized for the astronaut. Their look was conceived by Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, who has worked on Captain America Civil War and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. However, we have since learned that they are just designed for use inside the SpaceX capsule, known as the Crew Dragon, and are not suitable for use on spacewalks. Boeing also under contract. Aerospace giant Boeing also has a contract with NASA to carry astronauts to the space station in its CST-100 Starliner spacecraft. It has developed a pressure suit to protect astronauts during the key phases of launch and re-entry. The Boeing blue suits are about 40% lighter than earlier generations of spacesuits worn by American astronauts and more flexible. They contain different internal layers to keep astronauts cool. The suit also has touchscreen sensitive gloves so astronauts can work with tablets in the spacecraft. 
The soft, hood-like helmet features a wide polycarbonate visor to give Starliner passengers better peripheral vision throughout their ride to and from space. Zips in the torso area will make it easier for astronauts to comfortably transition from sitting to standing. NASA's Next Generation Suits In October 2019, NASA shared a close-up look at two next-generation suits for the agency's Artemis program. Under this effort, NASA will seek to return astronauts to the Moon by 2024 using the agency's Orion spacecraft. One of the suits is called the Orion Crew Survival System and is comparable to the suits used by SpaceX and Boeing. It recalls the so-called pumpkin suits used by space shuttle astronauts but is more lightweight. The other suit, called the Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit or XEMU suit, is designed to be worn on the surface of the Moon. It is much bulkier than the pressure suits designed to be worn inside the spacecraft. This is because it needs to protect the wearer from temperature extremes outside the walls of the spacecraft. It is also designed to provide some shielding against micrometeorites and other small particles of space debris. In these respects, it is similar to suits previously used for spacewalking at the International Space Station ISS. There are two suits used for spacewalking at the ISS. One is the Russian Orlan type, which was first used in December 1977. The Orlan is a one-piece spacesuit. The backpack opens like a fridge door, allowing the spacewalker to climb inside. NASA's Extravehicular Mobility Suit, or EMU, was introduced in 1981 and is the other suit used at the space station. Unlike the Orlan, the EMU comes in separate pieces, with a bottom and top half. The semi-rigid suit provides around 8.5 hours of life support for its wearer outside in the vacuum of space. Astronauts traveling to the ISS train with both suits. The suit worn by Apollo astronauts on the Moon was also called the EMU, though it's different from the modern design. It was the result of years of development. Spacesuits have come a long way since the first spacewalk by the late cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in March 1965. Leonov's suit inflated after he stepped out into the vacuum so that his hands came out of his gloves. Only by bleeding air out of the suit, which put the cosmonaut at risk of the bends, was he able to get back inside the spacecraft. Elon Musk offers to make NASA spacesuits. Elon Musk has since offered to help out NASA after it revealed its problems in making new spacesuits. A recent report from NASA's Inspector General made clear that the space agency is notably behind its plan to produce new spacesuits, which it says were the result of funding problems, the impact of coronavirus, and technical challenges. They are not expected to be ready by April 2025 at the very earliest, which would be another reason that NASA will not be able to make its plans for a 2024 landing on the Moon. By the time they are finished, NASA will have spent more than a billion dollars on the next-generation spacesuits, the report says. In response to a tweet from reporter Michael Sheets, who had posted about the new report, Mr. Musk suggested that his private space company could help solve the ongoing problems. SpaceX could do it if need be, he wrote. Too many cooks in the kitchen. In response to a separate comment from Mr. Sheets, in which he posted about the large number of different companies involved in supplying parts for the spacesuit, Mr. Musk suggested that the process had become too complicated. Seems like too many cooks in the kitchen, he wrote. The spacesuits are just one part of NASA's requirements before it heads back to the Moon as part of its Artemis mission, and not the only to have been hit by delays. The space agency has also been hit by problems in developing a lunar lander to carry astronauts down to the surface. NASA has picked SpaceX to build the spacecraft to land Americans back on the moon, but Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin, as well as another company called Dynetics, have protested against that process, and it has since been postponed. That is likely to contribute further delays that would endanger the 2024 target yet more, the report suggests, so NASA will have to decide on the spacesuit issue stat, and better sooner than later. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in on all the future fun.